Hey guys, Darth Glork here, back with part 15 of my Dragon Age Season 2, uh, or Dragon Age Origins Season 2 playthrough. Nailed it. So welcome back to part, welcome to part 15, welcome back to Dragon Age. So last time we got done, uh, a lot. We got done a lot of Deep Road stuff, and we polished up, uh, other little quests, or Orzammar related quests, and, and, uh, before that we got done like 99% of all the Orzammar stuff. And so now we are back in the deep roads, but we are, we've, we met up with Bronca, and she's kind of a tool. And, um, you know, so that's gonna be, that, that's a whole thing, so we're gonna polish up the anvil. So let's, uh, pursue this particular quest, shall we? Hark, a corpse. Yeah, there's a lot of corpses going around. Pledged to be my house, and they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me, even my Hesper. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices, as many sacrifices as are needed. Oh my God, dude! This chick's fucking crazy. Already, some of, them, some of the women were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve me. Let there, me find the animal. It was the only way. Wow. As you say. <laughs> God damn it, get the stun off here. renowned for its wits as well as its brawn. Perhaps you'll do better than my poor clansmen. There's something about this place. It makes people despair. Oh my god, this chick is evil, dude. This chick is evil. Rhodium is tier 4, tier 5. I need at least tier 6 before it probably matters. There's some effort stuff. That's just... Crap, dark spawn. Watch out. Uh... Don't look now. Dark the next wave. I wish these guys would fuck off so I could finish exploring. Get him, Ogryn. Alright, now stop spawning. Oh my god. Jesus, how many dark spawning could there possibly be? All right, is there anything actually useful? Yeah. Not you. Good old Bronca. She's a bit. Stop wasting time, Warden. I'm not here to chat. I'm just trying to get the barrel, brother. I don't want to talk to you either. 
Trust me, I'm not looking to be any more social than you are. I'm just trying to get that loot. After killing a legion of Darkspawn. I think it's like none of it is anything, anything I even need. It's been a very lucrative trip, though, I tell you. As far as money is concerned. I'm at 179 sovereigns right now. Oh, damn. Story of my life. Never, ever, any... I mean, I'm still gonna trash it. I'm just, like, I'm just swapping what I think is a higher quality item, you know? But, you know. Even at 110... 110, it's still not enough. See, there we are again. Oh god, I was about to say, please just be money. Don't make me go back in. A lot of dead shit over here. Okay. Might have found what we need to do. I did the thing. Now, can you actually go in these rooms, or is it just the doorway? Yeah, it's it doesn't look to be real. Put the weapons away, dumb bitch. Thank you. Yeah, okay. They are not real. And to be honest, I probably I can't really afford the inventory space anyway, so... Unless they're amazing, we're gonna have to let them be anyways. I don't know, that dagger actually might be worth something. I mean, probably not, because, I mean, you know, it's, it is a tier above. But... Like, I feel like it's probably not gonna be worth the bonuses. Because, yeah, see, its base stats, are, of course, are better, but I have, these ones have, have slots... And the slots allow for better stuff, so... Allow for, you know, uh, runes, which would mean really good, you know, potentially very good stats. So, I would say it's, you know, not worth it. Because all the base stats are better, but the runes can be really good. So, I would say it probably doesn't trap. outpace it. I disabled it. Kids, I'm gonna need help. I am struggling with the armor piercing. Wait for it. Technically, it should be disabled the second I touch it, but I'm a little nervous about going over it until it's done, you know?
use that, idiot. What's on your mind? Nothing, actually. I just constantly accidentally click on you because you're always in the way. I have nothing to say. Maybe let's just wait till Wan is recharged. There we go. We need her heals, so I need her to be ready. She needs to be ready. Ooh, spooky. I forgot about this. Uh oh. Very well. Yeah, see, I can stun you too, idiot. not doing anything. thing is creepy. Alright, that was spooky. Uh-oh, look at all the treasure. Trade manifest, which I can't fit it! What a surprise! Anything we can get rid of that's like obvious dog water? There we go, that's kind of shitty. I'm done. Oh, look at that. It was just a shit ton of healing items. Well, there you go. Ah, that was... that was different. Upside, here's the anvil. I'm like, oh god, look at all the golems. <laughs> Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Uh oh. Keridin? As in THE Keridin? Of Keridin's Cross? Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item. 
the anvil of the void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. A dire shortcut. Was it worth it? So said my king. I had only intended to use volunteers, but he was not satisfied. And soon a river of blood flowed out of this place. Finally, it was too much. I refused. And so Valtor had me put on the end next. Hmm. So you sealed it away. Uh, well, actually, we'll say, what now? Do you want revenge? Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the animal. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! You! Please! Help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. You, you were a paragon. I'll help you if you destroy it, if you support a new king. Don't listen. He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen. Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail. Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory. Uh, the anvil enslaves living souls. It must be destroyed. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No, you will not take it. Not while I still live. Bronca, don't throw your life away for this. Uh, we have to destroy the anvil, Bronca. Just give her the blasted thing. She's confused. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. She's obsessed beyond redemption. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Caradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! A control rod? My friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Ogren will be fine. Enemies He'll be fine. It is begun. Where is that now? Where is she? There she is. Come here. Brought it on herself. All right, just uh, don't mind me. Well, that was that was intense. Ogren's gonna be upset, but we'll make it up to him. Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Stupid woman. 
Always knew the anvil would kill her. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Hmm... I need a Paragon support to settle an election. For the aid you've given me, I shall put Hammer to steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Yay! destroy the anvil as we agreed I'm like it's not right got it you have my eternal thanks stranger a trust in all Tungsha. May you always find your way in the dark. Bye. Bye, Keridin. I hope you find your rest. He's been alive a very long time. Yay! And now... Ooh, look at that. Look at all the shit we can't fit anywhere. Hell yeah! Motherfucker. If I had a dollar. Uh, well. Let's see. I guess get rid of this. And then this, I guess. And. Um. This. Yay. Okay. All right, well, we did the thing, kids. Now let's go leave this accursed place behind forever. Well, that oh, wait, beat there you go. The saw that of how I imagined it. I know. You ready to head back yet and share the news? To the assembly, they need to know as soon as possible. Yeah, those deshers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Sorry, bro. That's not ideal, that's for sure. Here we are. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order. This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now. My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Stewart, but the Grey Warden has returned. Well, Warden, what news do you bring? I bear a crown from Paragon Keridin for his chosen king. Keridin was trapped in the body of a golem. This Warden granted him the mercy he sought, 
releasing him and destroying the Anvil of the Void. Before he died, Keridan forged a crown for Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors themselves. I would like to believe Argren's word, but it's well known the Grey Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! This crown is of Paragon make, and bears House Ortan's ancient seal. Tell us, Warden, whom did Keridan choose? Uh, Keridan chose Balin. At last, this farce has ended, and I can take my rightful place on my father's throne. me as king I cannot defy a paragon the throne is yours King Balin then as my first act as king I call for this man's execution guards seize him eh, that's not very surprising uh, let's see I did what you wanted now where are my troops I will return to my palace to gather my generals and prepare our forces for the service I will see you there, Warden. You have my gratitude for all you have done for me. Thank you. The only thing I ever wanted, which was my army. <laughs> the only thing I ever wanted. You have proven yourself and more, Warden. Without your aid, I would not have taken this throne so smoothly or so soon. Uh, congratulations, bravo. Now where are my troops? <laughs> my generals are already preparing for a mission to the surface. When you have need of us, you shall have every able-bodied dwarf in Orzammar. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. This was a maul favored by my brother Trian. Take it with you, as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now, I have much to do. If there is nothing else... I will return to the surface. Thank you for your aid. Good luck, Warden. May we both crush our enemies. Thank you. Man. That was a lot of work to get that and make that happen, but here we are. Oh, well, I maxed out on that. I guess I'll take upgraded survival. And... Cripple, Punisher. Uh, strikes the target once, normal damage. Stun the target, lots of passes, physical resist. Strikes with the other weapon, generating a critical hit if the target was stunned. Character strikes low with a target, gaining a momentary attack bonus and hitting critically if the target connects. Hit attack connects. Crippling the target with penalties to movement speed, attack, and defense unless it passes physical resist. The target makes uh, three blows against a target, dealing normal damage for the first two strikes and generating a critical hit for the third. If it connects, the target may also su uh, suffer penalties to attack and defense or be knocked to the ground. Alright, I guess I'll just start grabbing those. And then we're going to go to my attacks, and I'm going to go to... Repost. And I guess we'll just replace that one. And as I upgrade it, I'll probably just replace each one with the next with the next one. So beautiful. Finally, Balin is king, and now I have my troops, which is really what I needed. So the rest of their problems truly are their problems. Because I got what I needed. Okay, so we have a few things to turn in. Um I have to tell about Ruck, and I have to go to the People in charge, way up top. Grey Warden, you have impressed the best of us. Oh. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the darkspawn properly. I'm glad, for Elden needs you at your best. Nay, our place is down here. When you break the blight, and you've got the skill... We'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. 
We need you topside. Show the world your skill. You alone have the skill to back up your words. Each of the Legion owes our homeland a death, but if our lives are better shed on the surface, so be it. Back to Orzammar when we win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. Ha! <laughs> I got them to join me anyway. Uh-oh. We can't allow it! Take that, you nerds. There we go. Alright, anyway. Wasn't even here for all that. I was just, I just need to, uh, run in here to prove to the lady that she is a noble. The Shaperit. That's what it's called. Oh, I have a couple of things to turn in. Hey. I, I started to worry. I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Did you find any records? Any sign of the old Orton Taig? I have the records right here. You... you found them? Let me see. That's my great-grandmother's name. And her husband! Oh, great ancestors! It's them! It's me! I am an Orton! Oh, thank you. I have to take these to the assembly right away. Find me there. Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward. Alright, I'll see you there in a minute. It's literally on the way back, luckily for me. Hey, oh, that's not you. I need this one. Alright. Well, that's that. Alright, well, to the next objective, whatever it is. Hey, there you are. My name's Orta. After the old Orton house, they gave our seat back. And the records show which houses still owe House Orton money. One day, I will be able to properly thank you for all you've done for me. Uh, I don't really need money. Your happiness is enough. And I don't know what treasure is left. But whatever I get, you can have as much as you want. I'll have to find someone willing to look. Maybe a whole expedition. If the Taig is still there, it must have something. House Orton will not forget this kindness. <laughs> Didn't that sound official? It sure does. You're adorable. Good luck. All right, beautiful. We did the thing. All right, uh, let's see. I guess next might be Ruck and turning that in. Excuse me, ma'am. I found your son. I mean, sort of. You've returned. With all the excitement over the new king, I never expected you to remember my poor son. Did you learn anything about my Ruck? I'm sorry, Ruck's dead. Oh, my poor boy. I, I guess I knew, but I just wish I could have seen him one last time. Here, this is my husband's masterwork, the first shield he smithed. I don't have anyone to save it for anymore. I'd like you to have it, for what you risked to bring me this news. Sorry. It's better for you long term, though. <laughs> Just long term, it'll be better than you wondering or coming down here and finding out your son probably ate Darkspawn and who knows what else. Alright, beautiful. Well, that's basically it. There's a couple of technically, like, you know, weird little things to do, like the Topsiders hilt and stuff, but I'll be honest, it's gonna give me a weapon I don't care about, so... Okay, uh, we need to go back to camp because I have lots of runes to turn around and adjust. I have gifts to give out. Uh, no doubt Ogren might want to say something. We'll have to, uh, yeah, we have to move around runes. Uh, I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the Legion of the Dead armor. So, we have some shuffling to do. Oh, wait. Give me a moment. Is everything alright? Of course everything's alright. Yeah, uh, just give me one sodding moment. By the stone. I feel like I'm about to fall off the world with all that sky up there. Uh, well, take your time. I need you ready to fight. If I could fight Randar Volney second after downing 15 lichen ales in half an hour, <laughs> I'm not gonna be put off by a high sodding ceiling. Well, let's get moving. We're losing, what you call it, 
daylight. <laughs> well, don't worry about it, brother. I know that must be a weird sensation having nothing above you when you live in a giant cave, but you know, you'll be you'll be you'll be fine. Uh oh. Uh-oh. I was just going to Soldier's Peak and uh You're awake. Nothing happened. Did you Did you feel it too? I sure did. It was like the archdemon saw us. Saw us. What does that mean? I think wait. Did you hear that? Ambush at camp! I think we're about to get jumped, brother. Defend yourselves! Yo, we got jumped, brother. You, let the land. What the fuck, Tamlin? Is that you? Don't come near me. Oh my god. Stay away, Tamlin. Don't look at me. I am sick. Oh my god, Tamlin. What happened to you? The song in my head. Calls to me. He sings to me. I can't stop it. Don't want to hurt you, Lethalon. Please stop me. Uh, I have to try and heal you, Tamlin. Too far. You cannot help me. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Lethalon. Never wanted this. Oh my god. The singing. I cannot stop it. Oh my god. Jesus. Who was that? His name was Tamlin. Tamlin? Then he was the one who was with you when you. I'm so sorry. This is what happens when the taint is left unchecked. It's. It's better for him to have it end. It was a mercy. I appreciate that. Fortification should be built around the camp. Yeah, can't get a bloody nice rest. How annoying. What no trap? No ambush? Some assassins. Well, that was that was different. Anyway, um, I mean, I guess this this kind of works as well as anything. So, okay, I'm um, I don't know. Maybe maybe Soldier's Peak kind of has to come first because I kind of need to pick up things and some things I can drop off without even looking. Yes. Because I, you know, I know what what we're gonna be looking for. So, Soldier's Peak really does have to come next because I need to pick things up, drop things off, then I go into camp, and then I can shuffle things around. So. That's what we'll go to next. Okay, so we have all of my runes on me now. Enchantment? Uh, I need enchantment. enchantment. Okay, so... Whoa. Alright, so these are what I'm using. I'm going to replace this one with... Uh, with... By Zevran, okay. With this one. So I can remove what's in here. Just remove whatever's in there. And then I need to put it in this one. So let's see. Physical resist. It's okay. Journeyman expert. Ooh, fancy lightning damage. That sounds fun. And spell resist. Flame rune. Expert. Undead. Dark spawn. Novice. 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 Chance to reduce movement speed. That could be good to get people not to run from me. Yeah, I think I like the idea of reducing their movement speed so they can't uh, help but slow down. Um, I kind of just need to remove these and kind of start fresh on some of this. Like, I think I saw one that was 20 physical resist. That, that one might be better. Yeah, there we go. 20 physical resist. And if there's anything else going on. Spell resist, fire damage, cold damage, electricity damage. Well, there we go. There's a really fancy frost room. 
All right, so I replaced the ones on that, and then that's my Sten. So this is a new one. The one I'm about to give this to Ogryn. Uh, we could give him a really good physical resist. And really, like, really good spell resist. Just lots of good resistances. Could be good for him. Beautiful. All right, so there's some more of that is set. So now I can replace... So really, it would be easier just to unequip this and then just put this in its place. Nice. And uh, I could give this to Zevran, because he's probably using something not very good. Yeah, he's using like a crow dagger. Yeah, there we go. He can have that. And we can go ahead and put some Enchantment. enchantments Ench on that on that one again, just because Zevran's using it. And uh, here, have some physical resist. And really good damage versus dark spawn. There you go, buddy. Okay, so now uh Ogren. Ogren, Ogren, Ogren. There you are. I want you to have this. Yeah, because like the base damage is better, critical is way better, but this one has way better armor penetration. And uh, a better strength modifier. And then, of course, its bonuses are very, very good. So I would say it's worth it. Oh, actually, trashing that might not be the best move. Although, actually, isn't Sten using a fancy one already? Yeah, he's using a fancy one, too. It's only tier 5, but whatever. Okay, so Legion. You need 42. Oh, man. I don't even think Alistair's at 42, is he? Uh, supposedly, it'll let him do it, but... I don't know, brother. Uh, his stuff doesn't have, like, runes attached to it, does it? No. Alright, so how good is this stuff? Willpower. I mean, that's way worse, obviously. Four attack, that's better. One armor. <laughs> it's not as good as you think, to be honest. Like, the Blood Dragon is just better. Like, I realize the base stats are better, but the fatigue is worse on Armor of the Legion. And look at how, look at the bonuses on this armor, dude. The Blood Dragon is way better. So really, I should look at maybe, uh, look at maybe Ogryn. Because it, like, again, but all of these have resistances. Even the Juggernaut's kind of better, to be honest with you, so. I don't know, man. Well, Alistair can even level even more. I kind of need to pump the dexterity to try to get his, uh, shield usage higher. Oh, there we go. Shield expertise. There we go, that's nice. We can just kind of poke through everyone. She has some. Um, just kind of maybe evenly one of each. Oh, she actually has more than one of each. Okay, and then she can have... Uh, I don't know, Curse of Mortality and then Sleep, I guess. Okay, that was Morrigan. My dog. My dog. Uh, I guess we'll just do that. Okay, and then there's my dog. And then Sten. Give him to 40. Someone like that'll work. I guess we'll go Reaver, number one, and then we'll go to finish his two-handed. Sten, and then Zevrin. Who needs a lot of help. Okay, get that to like 20. That's a good place to start. And then one to there, I guess. And we'll go ahead and get you next level of this. And I guess we'll go and give him the last one of Assassin. And then bonuses to two-handed. And Shale. Oh my god, he needs like all so much more willpower. And Killing Blow. And then more, one more to passive. Nice. Everyone's all leveled. Alright, well, the Legion might just go into the... I almost said the hamper. <laughs> but I guess we could maybe give it to Sten, maybe. But I don't really know if I even want Sten to look that good. For one, he doesn't have the points anyway, so... I'm kind of thinking we're just going to put the the Legion stuff in the... I kept thinking the Legion was like the, like the height, the pinnacle of warrior armor, but... And the fact is it looks really cool, but the Blood Dragon is kind of the best warrior set, to be honest with you. Because not only does it look good, because it does, but 
its stats are just like its bonuses are so good it has like a list of bonuses that are so good and the, the juggernaut set is also like kind of second best warrior set you know oh why the fuck did i grab ogrim that was an accident anyway um but you know it's the uh, that other set is kind of the other like um the Juggernaut is also second best because it, it gives you like a total of like 20 or 25% resistances against every single elemental type. Which of course I don't need to explain why that's good. Um, we do have some gifts to give. Okay, how, how's my inventory looking? I'm at 44 of 110. And these are usable items but I'm not stocking those. I have two gifts to give, a couple of a couple of things of junk. Hey what Levi. Can I, do? Sir? I just need to sell a couple things. Alright, so now we can go ahead and run back to camp, because I have to give a couple of little gifts, and then I need to grab the right party this time. Okay, beautiful. I gave my gifts. It was for Zevran and Sten, which feels good. So, uh, checking in on my people. Well, aren't you sweet and attentive? Alright, so sh nothing new for the waifu. Something on your mind? Nothing new for the boy. Oh, actually. Something on your mind? I had a dream about the Archdemon. Yes, me too. And I got the feeling at the end there that it saw us, was aware of us, whatever you want to call it. Could have just been my imagination, I suppose. What do you think? I mean, I think it was staring at us. I think you're probably right. You know how some people want to be right all the time? Me, not so much. I guess one thing is certain, at least, isn't it? It's official. This is light. Yeah. I would definitely say so. What about you? What's on your mind? Nothing. It is okay, so nothing new for her. Alright, we're gonna give this one a save, because I don't know how Ogren is about to I don't know how this conversation's about to go. I don't know if he's gonna be mad at me or not. But but Bronca did that to herself. There you are. Wanted to talk to you. Oh, he's wearing his helmet in the cutscene. That's weird. What about? You and I, we've you know how sometimes you spend time with people and things. <laughs> I love you too, Algren. <laughs> well, I'll be shaved skin and hung up to dry. It's too soon, though, lady. Too soon. I just wanted to ask a favor. Take your time. What is it? I was thinking... I do know some people out here on the surface. A person, actually. A girl I knew in Orzammar. Before I left, obviously. Who's she? Her name's Felsi. She and I were uh, friends after Bronca left for the deep roads. I'm sure she's forgiven me by now. Thought maybe I'd track her down, see how she's been living. Do you know how to find her? I tried to look her up the last time we were at Lake Kalanhod. She wasn't at work at the inn. At home with her sick mother, they said. I figured it was just the ancestors telling me something. But I keep thinking about her. We can go back. Well, and a good friend you are, Warden. I'll think about you if we ever... Uh, no, actually, that would be gross. <laughs> uh, what was it you wanted to say? Nothing. I oh, there we go. Them. He took his helmet off. Anyway, plus eight. All right, so we're gonna go help. Go help him. All right, uh, let's just check in on Morrigan. See if she, has she has anything. It is a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. Oh, what is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit. In fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I was intrigued to see such a formidable woman, obviously more potent than the men she traveled with. Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Uh, why would I do that? I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. 
Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. I did it because I'm your friend. And that is what I do not understand. Of all the things I could have imagined would have resulted when Flemeth told me to go with you, the very last would have been that I would find in you a friend, perhaps even a sister. Hell I yeah! Know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. <laughs> oh my god, bro! <laughs> oh my god, Morgan, I love you too. Hell yeah. I don't really care about Stan or Shale or whatever else, so. Beautiful. Well that's well that's awesome. Alright. Yes. Uh actually. Oh, blast it. Not you, I'm taking Ogren. Because I, we're gonna go do his quest. Alright, Lake Callan had, eh? Okay. Somewhere over here is a woman. A woman for my little dwarf friend. There she is. I'm gonna go talk to her. Look, you gotta back me up here. Got it? Of course. <laughs> Thanks, Warden. Go get her. Just be ready to pry her off when she throws herself at me. We don't want to make a scene here. Well, don't pry her off me too soon. I mean, a little scene's all right. She's gonna clock you, brother. Are you sure you're not a baker? Because you got a sodding nice set of buns. Smooth. Agrin, is that you? Yeah, in the flesh, baby. What are you doing here? Uh, just trying to kick back with a pint. Fighting Darkspawn's a lot of sodding work, you know? You're fighting Darkspawn? Uh, this man took it on an army of golems, almost single-handed. It was a bit of pain, but it was a personal favor for the King of Orzammar, you understand? <laughs> a whole surface to choose from, and you just happened to come to my tavern? Eh, uh, well... <laughs> Whisper to Ogren, tell her that she's... tell her it's fate. What? Oh, right. It's fate, Felsi. What can I say? Fate? The ancestors must have a sense of humor, then. Sure they do. <laughs> You've had a good look at Lady Helmy, haven't you? If her face isn't a joke the ancestors are playing, I'm a Bronto's behind. So, Lady Helmy must be a paragon of beauty, then. Uh, whisper to Ogren, tell her that you're thinking of her. I've been thinking about you, Felsi. What do you want, Ogren? Nothing. Just thought I'd see how you were doing is all. Well, maybe that and grease up the Bronto, if you know what I mean. <laughs> well, you've seen me. You'll have to go back to Orzammar for the Bronto. Um, admit it. Ogren is much more fun than the men around here. If by fun you mean more likely to light farts on fire, yes. Oh, well, it's been fun, Felsi. But I better go. Wait, you're leaving. You just got here. I haven't called you a shaft rat yet. Well, you can't keep the archdemon waiting. You hurt its feelings and might just turn the whole blight around and go home. Nobody wants that. Well, you don't need to fight it right now, do you? I mean, you could have a pint first. You could call me a surly Bronto. <laughs> I could tell you that you smell like nut droppings. I'll tell you what, I got some things I gotta do, but I'll come back for that pint when things are settled, you frigid deep stalker. Fine, but you better not keep me waiting, you worthless copper-plated sword cast. Wouldn't dream of it. Well, that was romantic. <laughs> well, that was romantic. Hey, who the hell are you? Yes? Sorry to tell you your husband's dead. I feared this day would come. Oh, okay. She was. She Come was. Come back sometime. I'll find you the good ale. Well, the brown, watery stuff that we call the good ale, anyway. Indeed. Okay. Uh, beautiful. Well, we did the thing. Ogren's gonna be thrilled. So, uh, I'm thinking maybe we should bop back to camp. See what Ogren has to say. Ogren, we got you the girl. Are you thrilled? <laughs> I still got it. Wait, that was a success? Are you sure? Weren't you watching? She could barely restrain herself. 
Might as well rest up while I can. You ready to go? Aye. All right, then. <laughs> I was like, wait, that was a success? Are you sure? He's like, are you kidding me? He's like, were you watching the same conversation that I was? Because he's like, she was all over me, practically. I was like, oh. I mean, yeah, totally. And how could how could she resist? You're like, look at you. You're awesome. Uh, it's the village of Haven... I think that's the that's the arch or the arch demon. I think that's the uh, urn of sacred ashes thing. I think so. I mean, it's the only location I can see that I I don't know exactly what it is. It's the only only location left. So yeah, it's obviously got to be this one. I'm a little scared because I'm I mean, I'm carrying Liliana. <laughs> like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to poison the urn of sacred ashes with her on board, which means I'm gonna have to fight the dragon. So I'm a little I'm a little concerned about having to fight that dragon, but I killed Flemeth like ages ago, so it'll be fine. Oh wait a minute. Oh wait, is what this it? Doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. I just briefly I was like, oh no, this is the DLC thing, but no, I think this is it. Uh, I have business here. No, you do not. I would have been informed if someone was expecting a visitor. Uh, is there a brother Jenna TV here? Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. Revered Father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Uh... Very well, excuse me. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? Yeah, that was suspicious. He can't actually arrest us for anything, so he's just like, How about you just piss off? I was like, okay, okay, thanks. Very cute little little village you got here. It's very welcoming. Very nice. It is over. Did you hear that, guys? A crap longsword? This altar appears to been used recently. A blood of pool, a pool of blood remains running over the sides in dark rivulets. I was not expecting to find something so unsettling. I know. Used for food preparation, perhaps. Does meat bleed that much? I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. This village is not quite what it seems, is it? Definitely not. Man, what? parts of Alistair's yeah. armor are so bright, it's like he has RGB lighting. <laughs> Sweet RGB armor, bro. Does that, did that, like, put you back a lot, or...? He's like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's, like, very expensive. Oh god, they're upset. Your ants. Kill him. I was about to say, what's the point? Liliana's about to finish him anyway. Well, they were... They were upsetty spaghetti, that's for sure. They were very unhappy with my presence here. Death of a Templar. Just, uh, looking for anything neato. Alrighty. Just gonna check over here. Ooh, there is stuff here. We'll never get finished. It took me years and years to learn, and even then I am not the best at it. So you didn't sneak around when spying? Hold hold that thought, kids, I need we to look it up. Different ways of doing things. Some preferred not to be seen at all, to cloak themselves in shadow and darkness. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, this one. I realize that it is not such a bad thing to be seen, as long as you do not stand out and are quickly forgotten. I specialize in blending in, not drawing attention and looking like I had every right to be there. It is invisibility, but of another kind. 
Ah, yes, but I heard you often seduced your targets. They'd remember you. Not if they died. Oh. <laughs> Dying while in the company of a lovely seductress. Tell me that isn't a good death. I don't know if I should take you seriously. But you scare me sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well, just stay away from her. You'll be fine. Besides, she has I've slept with her and she hasn't killed me. But granted, that's because she loves me. Don't worry about it, bro. Whether she's telling the truth or not is something you'll have to wonder. Cultists! Oh, I've been hit with a curse. I can't hit anything. Curse is almost up. Yeah, that that curse is uh is not great. Cause boy, when I get hit that way, I'm assuming it's like a you know a curse of misdirection or missing or something. Cause suddenly I couldn't hit shit, and otherwise I like never miss. So, so that's unfortunate. All right, let's go kill the next wave. Come here, nerd. Why the hell he was just up here on his own? Oh, okay, there are more. Oh, right as I clicked on it. There's a few more. We've been slaughtering our way up the hill. And this father, revered father, which is not a thing in this universe, is gonna get it. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren. And prepare your hearts to receive her. Look at me, I'm adorable. <laughs> Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her. Ah, welcome. I heard we had a visitor wandering about the village. I trust you've enjoyed your time in Haven so far. Um. Your people aren't very welcoming. What sort of welcome do you expect when you break into our homes uninvited? You see, this is why we do not like visitors. They are not like us. They will do us harm if we let them. Uh, what have you done to Brother Jenna TV? We don't owe you any explanations for our actions. We have a sacred duty. Failure to protect her would be a greater sin. All will be forgiven. Enemies approach. Oh, you're toast. He's dead. I shall do it. I got a lot of kills in there. I was doing a great deal of the killing in back there. Oh, a fake brick wall with Protogena TV. I will talk to you later. The task is finished. I have looting to do first, and no offense, it's way more important. He's like, um, what do you mean, no offense, but it's way more important? Aren't I important? I'm a person. I'm like, ah, oh, well. What? Sucks to suck. Now. Alright, I have I have a higher I have a different priority list than you. Of course we don't care about hats, and that's medium grade, which means we don't care. Those are crap bows and a crap sword we don't care about. A mage. Uh win. Fire damage. 
No, 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 we can do that. Sure, there you go. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do it that one, but it's not the end of the world anyway. Anyone else want one willpower? I mean, it's cold resist, I guess that's fine. Cold damage, fire damage. Now she does both. Kind of funny. Dexterity, that's a little better than that. And then, of course, mine are actually cracked, so we'll just we'll just get rid of that. It's only, it was only one willpower anyway. Only one. Who are you? They, they've sent you to finish it. Do I look like one of them? I'm Elena. I'm here to help you. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh, the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. Well, that's not good. Uh, Wynn, can you help? I can set the leg and ease some of the pain, but he'll need a lot of rest in order to heal. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. I need to find the asses. ashes. Arl Eamon gets sicker by the day. The Arl is sick. Will he live? Uh, I hope so. The Arl is a noble soul. But the ashes... The ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. This medallion? Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. Are you sure you can make the journey? It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. All right, let's f let's leave now. Ah, good. Help me up here. Uh, uh, I'll try not to slow us down. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm sure he'll be fine. We uh, it it'll be good. He'll be fine. Besides, we have to discover the temple. Obviously. Here we are. Give me the medallion, and let's see if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it can be manipulated. Just like this. And there. A key to open the way. Now what? Now, where does this go? Well, well. Well, well. Oh, what I would give to have seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. Oh, uh, you need to stay alert now, brother. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. But I can't wait for you. I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the urn. Is there anything else I need to know about the temple? It was designed to protect the urn from those who would steal it or do harm to it. Namely, the Taventer Imperium. Uh... I don't intend to harm the urn. I would hope not. And if the legends speak truly, you will never reach the urn with malice in your heart. Only the faithful shall lay eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. He weeps for his beloved, and his wrath at her betrayers endures. Hmm... So it is the wrath of the Maker that strikes men down? That is what the legend says, and the Maker may indeed watch this place. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand that it is merely a simple truth draped in hyperbole and metaphor. After all, no one wants to hear Willie toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. That's true. Cunning. I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? Try not to get into trouble. I'll be right here if you need me. Now I need something to write on. Alright, you take notes. 
I am going to move on. Because I don't have time to loiter around here, boy. Ooh. What is over here? There was an adventure. And a quest. All right. Cultists! Interesting. What was that gift I got? Like, one of them was just like a weird item, but I'm not sure what it was. Discovering Dragon's Blood is what that was. And then there was something else I picked up that was a weird thing. Yeah. Taper? Tapper? Bizarre. Come here, you dogs. You know, I might even do the Topsiders thing off-camera, like run back down to the deep roads and find the shrine and do all that stuff. Because it's, it's in my inventory, it does bother me a little bit that I didn't do it, so I might do it. Because it, it, if it was tier 7, it might actually be better than what yeah. Alistair's using, technically. I don't really expect it to be that much better, but technically it's possible. So, it's worth trying for a little bit. Oh, I would love to spend a day here. It shall be done. Yes, well, we have but one. We don't have time for us to spend all this time here, Wind. It is over. Alright, there's a couple of loot items in there. Some of it interesting. Um. Deventer Shield, Iron Bark, Tier 5. Yeah, no way. Nope. And then there's this one, but you need a impossible. You need a key. I might get one later in the temple, and then on the way back out, you could like open the door, maybe. Possibly, possibly. Dig. But not your perfect ears. Well, there's enemies over in that door. We could try this one first. It's the only direction without enemies that are obvious. Armor of Diligence, it's, it says. And of course, a rock slide. Interesting. That Diligence armor is probably medium armor. Which means it's very unlikely to be useful to anybody. Enemy Watch out. Watch out. Kill him. Ah, there it is. I shall do Ancient text. There's another scroll. There's a. I think that's medium armor. That obviously we don't care about. Alright, let's backtrack a little bit. Find the bodies of the people. Okay. I think that was all. Knock, knock. It shall be done. <laughs> It is 
sure is. Okay, I was about to say, those other, other group hasn't aggroed. I wasn't sure if they had yet or not. Hey! It leveled up. It leveled up my girlfriend! Alright. Uh, well, I guess we'll just sort of do this. And we'll go Master Combat Tactics. And I guess we can finish the Bard stuff. Not that it matters, because she doesn't change what she's has equipped, but whatever. She has all the archery stuff, so she has the, the real good shit already. So, mostly I just grab it just because, I don't know. Why not? Get him, Alistair! Oh, he can't hit him! There we go. I know we got hit with that pesky, he got hit with the pesky miss everything move. So that's rough. Happens to the best of us. Ooh, there's probably the key to that thing. That's probably the key to the door. Well. The bad news is, I found the enemies. The good news is, we now have the key to that door. Stay down. You dogs. I wonder if I wonder if Genitivi's still alive. There was all these cultists down here. If they fi if they found him, he's definitely toast. Alright. Although to be honest, I don't really I don't really care what happens to Genitivi. We got what we needed, which is the door open, so. I mean if he lives, great, but if he doesn't, I'm just like, you know, whatevs. The task is finished. Alright. Oh. There was some minor loot in there. The axe is Garbo. Um, medium armor we don't care about. That's heavy armor, but we'll keep it because it might be a set. So we'll keep it, but we won't use it. But hey, we got the loot. Cultus, I am coming for you. As soon as my auto save wears off, you're dead. I am done. You're dead. Charge! It is begun. Kill the mage! Kill the mage! There we go. I'm dealing with the archers. You guys worry about whatever's down there that's roaring. Very well. It is begun. It shall be done. Alright. What was going on down here, anyway? Maybe it was just, like, spirits or whatever? Shades or something? Because I don't know what they were dealing with, but I was slaying. Alright, just gonna make sure there's nothing on each end. I have lit the beacons. Gondor calls for aid. Yeah, a little bit of money. Okay. We've seen, we came, we saw, we conquered. Let's go. Look there, a cunning trap. Oh, I saw it. A little Look too late. There, a cunning trap. A trap. Trying to find them all. I think I got most of them now. I, I tripped one, but I don't. Nothing happened. So I would suppose it's probably a ballista that missed. I would assume is what happened. So I'm assuming that's what happened. It was a ballista that missed. Careful! I think they've seen us. As well, he didn't seem to care about my stun. I 
Got him. Oh, well, there's enemies that way. What's the other way? Enemies that way. Alright, well. Options seem as coach limited. Mage got deleted. Oh, this seems like a I was about to say this seems like a trap. It is I shall do it. It be <laughs> Quickly open the last one. It's good experience either way, right? So let's uh, wait till everyone's stamina and mana and stuff comes back. Mine's always full because I have apparently a r ridiculous amount of stamina for what I for what I use, and I don't use almost any sustain abilities. But you know, you can't really tell because I still kill pretty damn good. I agree, Alistair. We do work well together. When you aren't being such a drama queen and bitching that I don't love you, then we work well together. Well, there's definitely red ahead. Fight! Fight for your lives! It is begun. I shall do. I'm up. He thought he could just knock me over and have that be the end of it, and he still died. I would say that serves him right. Forward. Ha! I killed him before he got his misdirection hex off. He's like, I'll hit him with the old misdirection hex. He won't be able to hit anything. It'll be great. And I immediately threw a stun so he wasn't going to get that off. Disarmed all the traps, guys. I shall do it. It is begun. That's it. Don't just walk away from me, you little shit. All right. I got all the traps already. Dragons! Very well. Just gonna make sure they're not gonna drop, uh. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Make sure they weren't gonna drop worm scales. But it doesn't look like it, because technically I need to go talk to the. I think it's Wade, the Master Smith guy. Technically, I could go talk to him inside Denerim and turn in my worm scales for, like, armor or whatever. Um, I do technically need to do that. And to be honest, I probably should, because it, it might be light armor, which might mean it could be good for Liliana. And her armor is, like, tier 6, I think. And I'm wearing tier 7 already, but she could use some better armor. So technically, I should really take care of that. Before the end battle, I hopefully will. Hopefully. 
It's a trap. No shit. Look there, a cunning trap. I got it. It shall be. You guys handle things over here? Good, another down. As you say. Have you no concern for your own existence? Coward. There we go. It's like, get back now. here. How much of the battle is spent chasing after an enemy anyway? It is over. More than you'd think. It's one of the bonuses about being like an archer or like a mage is they can run around all you want it means less but when they're in melee and <clears throat> they're all just running away from you it gets kind of annoying to have to be chasing them down you'd be like imagine how this fight would go if you would just stand and fight me or the possible bonuses about being a warrior because you're more likely to make to increase your threat and so they're a little more likely to like come after you you know so like it's, it's somewhat a little easier, but the best is, of course, still like an archer or a mage, because you can just shoot at whatever you want. It's very nice, especially archer, because you can be DPS focused, so. It's good, it's good stuff. Uh oh, misdirection, I think. Struggling to hit things. Well, why is there two pads? Why must you do? Why must you hurt me so? God dang it, dude. There's two fucking paths. Worst case scenario. Mm, I can't tell what's a dead end, so. Hopefully it's this one. Oh, it's a Drake. A Drake scale. Ooh, and a warrior statuette. Also, this was the dead end. What luck! Ah, oh, this one, no, no loot. Come on! I killed two Drakes. I deserve two Drake scales. Lame. So it's kind of a couple things I should do off camera. Is talk to Wade. I think his name is Wade. About the, the Smith guy about uh, making good armor. Uh, and take care of the topsider's sword thing. So, kind of two weapon and armor related things I should do off camera. I'm not gonna make us sit through that, but... You know, something I should think about taking care of. Wow, she got assassinated. Liliana shot her in the face. She went to attack my girlfriend and I stabbed her in the stabbed her in the back. It's like, don't even think about it, lady. I think this is the dead end. Well, there's enemies ahead, but that doesn't mean anything. We must be careful against this. It's a Drake. It is begun. <laughs> He got him. And he had a scale. Which is always fun. Hmm. It's a trap. Look there, a cunning trap. Boy, it sure is. I shall do it. It shall be. It is 
begun, as you say. Well done, babe. Getting those kills. Well, you know, the problem is, is I kind of suspect this is the way to go. Which means the other way is the way I should be going. No, maybe not. This could be an elaborate dead end. If we're lucky, it is. Hopefully, it's just an elaborate dead end. I shall do it. Give me loot. Ah, oh, come on, Drake. God dang it. Ooh, okay. So there it is. That is the way to go. I was worried about that. Alright, let me go the other way. Oh, there we go. And he did give me loot. How about that? Anyway, let me go the other way. Alright, well, we obviously know what's the other way, so what's this way? Have we been turned around? How does anyone navigate these holes? Well, there's only two ways to go, and, uh, you know, I guess three if you count the way we came. So, don't worry about it. And we're not turned around because I have a map. I'm like, don't worry, I have a mini-map. She's like, what's a mini-map? <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ooh. It's a trap. Look there, a cunning trap. No kidding. Aha. Guys, I sniped out the mage. I know you're worrying about a dragon, but I killed the mage. He was spamming buffs and spells and all kinds of weird things, and obviously it didn't help him none, but just wanted to make sure we nipped that in the bud, you know what I mean? Didn't want him throwing spells at us. Another scale, bro. We have so many. Plus, I have at least some in a chest in Soldier's Peak, so... If you combine them all, who knows? Any, uh... Anything hidden and fun back here? Not really. Well, the other way is the way, so as far as this goes, this has to be the dead end, because that other one is the direction. That is the story, so... This must be the dead end, no matter how big it is. More enemies ahead! Mages and dragons. Right. Got the dragon. It shall be done. Son of a bitch. As you say. You cannot run. You can't run. A dragon egg, the life drinker, and another drake skill. Hell yeah. Beautiful. Alright, that was an elaborate dead end. Now, what is all this? We don't care about this. Arcane warrior only. Oh my god. Wow. The saw sword, which is tier 6. Cute. Uh, might just keep it just because it has a name, so that's kind of fun. And Life Drinker is Blood Mage. Very specific stuff there. That's interesting. Um, someone has Arcane Warrior. Maybe I gave that to Morrigan or something? <laughs> I gave somebody Arcane Warrior, and so it's either... I don't think it was Wynn, so it might, it might have been Morrigan. Although maybe it's Wynn, I don't know. I don't really suspect... Okay, so obviously she's not a Blood Mage. Yeah, okay. So I think I did give it to Morrigan, so that's interesting. Anyway, let's go, go ahead and go back. Okay, we're all saved. Let's see how this goes. Stop! You will go no further! Oh, is that so? 
You have defiled our temple. You have spilled the blood of the faithful and slaughtered our young. No more. You will tell me now, intruder, why you have done all this. Why have you come here? I've come for the urn of sacred ashes. You did this all for an ancient relic. Know this, stranger. The prophet Andraste has overcome death itself and has returned to her faithful in a form more radiant than you can imagine. Not even the Tevinter Imperium could hope to slay her now. What hope do you have? Uh, and what has happened to the ashes? They are still within this temple. But why do we need ashes when we serve the risen Andraste in all her glory? You're mad. Andraste's dead. You know nothing! Andraste revealed herself to us! We are her chosen! To arms, my brethren! Andraste will grant us victory! Obviously, we're not siding with him, so, you know, may as well just get it over with. Got him. Yeah. Take that. Faith's Edge. It's interesting. We got him, kids. That's the good news. The bad news is I know what's ahead of us. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Well. That will be a fabulous place to call it, and boy, what an exciting way to start the next episode that will be, huh? And uh, next episode, we will be uh, going to go kill a dragon, so that'll be cool. And uh, obviously with Liliana here, she's obviously not going to be a fan of us poisoning the ashes, so of course we're not going to do that. Um, my character doesn't probably, I mean, it's Elvin, you know, doesn't so much believe in all this Andraste foolishness she doesn't really believe in any of that but she you know she's maybe has hope because everyone keeps saying that the ashes the ashes the ashes so she kind of has hope that maybe the ashes will at least cure the uh the arl whether or not it has anything to do with andraste or not she just hopes that it'll have a power powerful enough healing properties that maybe it'll do what everyone's saying and not so much that she believes in the andraste stuff but you know with her being who she is that makes sense so Anyway, but uh, yeah, great progress. And when we, when we come back, we'll be killing a dragon, taking care of the urn of sacred ashes, and uh, jumping into uh, probably, I mean, the probably the lands meet and all that stuff, you know, and um, probably jumping into that kind of stuff. So I think that's very, very likely to be on the home stretch next episode. So that's exciting. Um, off camera, because we're mid level here, I'm not going to be able to do the like um, the the top sliders hilt stuff and. Um, and then there was something else, like, armor-related stuff that I needed to do. Oh, about, like, like, getting, like, the made fancy Drake armor for my, for my girlfriend. Um, not gonna be able to do that off-camera, um, just because I'm, we're in the middle of a level and I don't want to have to backtrack the whole way. So, um, either we'll, either I'll just cut away for next part, and the next part I'll take care of, I'll take care of at least the Drake armor for Liliana, um, and take care of that, like, you know, either on, maybe even on camera for for that part, who knows, but we'll take care of that next episode. The, the, the Top Sliders Hilt part, I might actually just ignore. Um, I'm not positive if I'll fix it, especially if I, because I don't really want to go back if I have to do it on camera, so... Um, anyway, but that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later. Oh, did I just collateral that guy? Yeet. <laughs> You go first. He's like, oh, I think it's clear, man. You're good. As the great Bob Ross would say, what a happy accident. Later, idiots. <laughs> I could hear Darth Vader in my head. I have you now. <laughs> no, walk it off, bro. You're okay. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that was so perfect.